said you guys lost this game. It's going to be OU and Texas, two teams that are leaving the conference, playing for the conference title. How big is it, not only for your program, but for the conference, to have a representative that's staying in the league play in this next week's game? Well, I'm proud of the Big 12 Conference. I'm, I'm proud of the Big 12 Conference that'll be next year. Um, my concern was for our team. Uh, I hadn't followed any of um, the uh, – I didn't even know what you told me. Was that, that – was I supposed to know that before the game? If you guys had lost, is OU Texas. Oh, well, I didn't even know that. But um, um, the Big 12 Conference – um, show, has shown a lot of strength, and um, I'm proud to be in it and proud of who's coming into it. And so I never really looked at it that way, um, but I'm going to guess that um, the Big 12 Conference is excited about that, and I think it's also good for us, the ones that are staying in the conference. I think that's a positive thing. You look back to September. Particularly South Alabama. I've tried not to. Yeah. You keep bringing that up. Every week you're killing me with that. I've, you do. And now here. You're not wanting me to sleep tonight, two right? Months later, you're in the Big 12 championship game. Is it remarkable for the team that played that night mm -hmm. to be in the Big 12 championship game? Mm -hmm. I told them that. Told the team that? Mm -hmm. I didn't use the word remarkable, but I said, just so you know, I said, just think where we were at the end of September. And the reason I told them that was because it's important as we develop and train young men, they understand there'll be things in life that don't work to their favor. And it's amazing what a group of young men and a team can accomplish if they're willing to, out, to ignore the outside circumstances, go to work and grind. Just put your head down and grind. Don't worry about anything else. And listen to your coaches because we got the best information for you. And if you're willing to do that, there's no telling what a, a group of young men can accomplish. And I think this is about as good an example as ever. You've been watching college football a long time. What odds would you have given us? Uh, I'm not into betting, but I wouldn't have bet a dollar. We're not even betting money. Just give me an odd. What odds would you have? Thank you. I would have given you 5,000 to one at that point.